the Act, the ASI Act, requires us to be apolitical. I take that very seriously. I'll leave the politics to the politicians, but I'm very clear with everyone that I need to be, that um, that's not helpful for us. Mike Burgess, last night on 7.30, I'm joined now by Dennis Richardson, who's a former Director General of ASIO, a former Ambassador to Washington and a former Secretary of the Department of uh, Foreign Affairs. Dennis Richardson, good morning and welcome to News Breakfast. Hi there, Lisa. Just to set the scene for people, how unusual is it for the current head of ASIO to appear on national television and make comments like that? Well, that doesn't happen every day of the week. I think uh, Mr Burgess was doing his job very professionally and doing it consistent with the act under which he operates, uh, which was put in place by, uh, with bipartisan support in the late 70s, has been amended since with bipartisan support and was specifically designed to avoid ASIO being perceived as being politically biased as rightly or wrongly, it was perceived by one side of politics in the 50s and 60s. It is the second time in as many days that he has, to, has had to put forward this message to not have ASIO, the work of ASIO, national security politicised, and yet we saw the scenes in Parliament yesterday, certainly the, the Prime Minister, Peter Dutton, the use of the, the allegation of uh, Labor members being a Manchurian candidate. Would you hope that his appearance last night and that stern warning, warning would be the end of that? Uh, if you're a complete optimist, I suppose uh, that's what you would conclude. Uh, if you're a realist, I think you might have a more open mind. What risk is it to Australia or uh, Australia's national security to have the issue used as a political football? Look, uh, Lisa, the bottom line is this. First of all, I don't have an issue with the government's approach to national security generally. I think it has a very good record uh, in that area. Others would disagree, but that's my own view. Secondly, differences between the political parties on matters of national security were, uh, is perfectly proper in a liberal democracy. Uh, we have differences over war and peace, whether it be Iraq, whether it be uh, other issues. What is unusual in this case is that the government is seeking to, cre to create the perception of a difference between it and the opposition on a critical uh, national security issue, that is China, seeking to create the perception of a difference where none in practice exists. That is not in the national interest that only serves the interests of one country, and that is China. So creating what is in effect a domestic split that you believe there's no reason for, the, there's no reality in that split, that that is the issue here, that's the problem, that's where the dangers set in. Seeking to create the perception of a difference where none in practice exists for, uh, for straight out party political purposes is something that we've not seen an Australian government do for decades and it does not serve the national interest by any objective standard. It serves the interests, whatever interests it serves in a party sense in Australia, it in effect only serves the interests of one country and that is China because our body politic uh, the, the national interests are served by our body politic having a unified position on an issue as critical as China. What happens if the Prime Minister and Peter Dutton rock up to question time again and take the same approach that they did yesterday? What would your thoughts be on that? Well, it's, it's their democratic right. Um, yeah, but what are your thoughts? Uh, uh, well, I, I would... Uh, I One... Well, I, I would have the same view that I do now, and that is it does not serve the national interests and it is not something that is in the best tradition of, of the way Australian governments have worked over the last 40, 50 years. 
Dennis Richardson, great to have your views this morning. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Thanks very much, Lisa.